Good morning. My name is Kim Rawson. I'm the Director of Nursing at Bishop State Community College. I'd like to tell you a little bit about all of the great things you can do as a nurse. When you become a nurse, you have many, many options. You can take your two-year associate degree, sit for your licensure exam, and you will be a registered nurse. By being an RN, you have opened the door to many, many different opportunities. You can be a school nurse, which is great if you have children and would like to have the same schedule. You can certainly work in the hospital, and the hospital offers many different areas. So you can actually find the type of patient or the type of setting that you really like. You can work in a physician's office. Some of our students uh, like to think about being a flight nurse. You can certainly go into the military and do nursing in that area. Industries are now hiring nurses. And then certainly this is a stepping stone to many other opportunities, even as a nurse educator. Many nurses choose to work in the hospital as their first job after graduating from an associate degree program. It's a very interesting career, and within that day, you're going to be exposed to many different types of patients, types of people, and types of tasks. For example, you will be assisting the physician as he provides care for the patient. You may also be giving medications. You will be communicating with not only the patient but the family. And one of the biggest roles of the nurse today is teaching. You may be teaching a new diabetic patient how to give themselves insulin, how to take care of their feet, how to take their medication, what are some side effects. You do a lot of communication with other areas of the hospital, respiratory therapy, physical therapy, surgery. You might even want to work in the surgery area where you will take care of patients as they get ready for an operation. You have many, many choices within the hospital to work with different types of patients. Pediatric patients, obstetrical patients, critical care patients, uh, patients who are getting ready to go home, patients who are there uh, returning to have surgery and other procedures done. If you're interested in a career in nursing, I would encourage you to contact your advisor or someone in the nursing department at the two-year college level. They will give you a lot of advice and help direct you as you begin to prepare to apply for a nursing program and then help you along the way as you continue. When you first get into nursing, it's many, many different new experiences that you will come across. Uh, for example, in the fundamentals course, uh, which is in any program, you will learn many different skills such as height and weight, how to bathe patients, how to ambulate or walk patients. You will learn how to give medications. You will learn how to give injections. And this is all in preparation for your other courses where you will actually go to the clinical setting. Within a nursing program, you will go to many different hospital settings such as the psych unit. You will go to probably a maternity unit where they deliver babies and where they take care of new mothers and mothers who are in labor or expecting. You will go to medical surgical units where you will take care of patients who have complications from diseases or possibly surgery. You will go probably to nursing homes and have an opportunity to interact with geriatric or the elderly patient. So you have many places that you will put these skills into action. Along with your clinical uh, component, you will also have theory. And in those classes, you will learn all about different diseases. You will learn about medications used to treat those diseases. And you will learn a lot about nursing care and nursing education. Again, nurses play a very important role in patient teaching. So communication is a very good skill that you need to have in order to be a nurse. When you finish your two-year program, in order to actually practice all those things that you've learned, you will take an exam. It is a national exam. It's called the NCLEX exam. And if you pass that, you will be licensed in the state that you have taken your education in and be able to practice in that state as a registered nurse. Nurses are in demand right now, so you should have no trouble finding a job in, in many different areas that you are interested in. 
If you're truly considering a field of nursing, it is never too early to start planning and dreaming. I would encourage you to go ahead and contact an advisor at a local college to discuss what is needed to enter a nursing program. Some of the things that you may need to be strong in are your math and science. If you're an older adult thinking about coming back into the nursing field, those are two areas that you might want to review or brush up on because science and math are the foundation of many of the, uh, the courses in nursing. Another thing that I would encourage you to do would be volunteer in a hospital. This will really be an eye opener for you because you'll be in the environment and you'll really get a taste of do I like this or not. Many people know or have a family member who is a nurse. I would encourage you to talk to someone, ask them about their day, ask them about their schedule. What is their pay scale? What are they asked to do on a daily basis? How does it affect their family life? Nurses work long hours. We work 12 hour shifts and sometimes it's challenging to be a nurse and also have a family. So speak to someone who's truly in that field and get, get their opinion on what it's really like. Another thing that you can do, especially if you're in high school, is join a healthcare club that maybe does some activities in local hospitals. You'll get a good view of what really happens and goes on in the hospital. Nursing is a highly competitive field. It's difficult sometimes to think about deciding to go into nursing, but once you make that decision, it is a commitment. And it is a lifelong commitment because nursing is a lifelong career. In fact, you may want to consider getting a job now in the healthcare field, just so that you can see what really goes on. Hospitals hire people as transporters, uh, phlebotomists that draw blood, medical records. There are many areas in the hospital where you might could actually get a part-time job and just see what it's really like. Sometimes students get into nursing and they quickly find out whether or not they really love it or not. That first experience in the hospital as a student may really tell you if this is the right field for you.